He's an award-winning DJ, record producer, and musician, and of course, teamed up with his BFF, Will Smith, to create one of the best songs ever for the season. Of course, I'm talking about Summertime. He recently came upon a very scary time in his life as he feels that he may have gotten COVID-19. He's here to talk about that and a whole bunch more. Please welcome DJ Jazzy Jeff. Uh -huh. How was that? How are you? I'm fantastic. The question is, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm just happy to um, be in a position that I'm in now. Um, pretty much fully recovered. Um, a really, really scary time. Very scary time. I I'm going to get to that because that's kind of a long story. But first, we got to show some shy town show some shy town love. I can say yeah. that 10 times fast. We know you're from Philly, but yeah. come on, Chicago's pretty cool too. Oh, listen, my wife is from Chicago. I have so many friends and family from Chicago. Chicago's like my second home. Yeah, what part? South side, west side, north side? South side. She's a South Sider, South yeah. Side. How often do you get back to Chicago? Uh, a couple of times a year, a couple of times a year. I try to, you know, I definitely try to go back, you know, as much as I can, um, especially for the food. And I'm sure you probably don't come back in the winters. You come back in the yeah. summertime. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to, it was early March, right? When you took a ski trip. And this was kind of like a brotherhood thing where you guys get together and go skiing, right? And tell us what happened. The brotherhood ski convention, you know, was, was there. So, you know, all of the participants were there and it was just a normal ski town. So it was a bunch of people. Um, and the event that I did was just an event during the time that the, that the skiers were there. Yeah. Um, it was a it was a club and played the club it was a really good night it was super packed um didn't really come in contact with too many people <clears throat> um and left the next four days were probably the worst four days i had um i couldn't remember anything i didn't eat for maybe about five straight days um i was hallucinating because i wasn't getting enough oxygen to my brain um, it was really scary. And, you know, that was the first time ever in my life during those four days, I thought that I may not make it through this. Were you ever tested for COVID-19? No. But so what happened was my wife doing the due diligence realized that pneumonia, loss of taste and smell are primary symptoms of COVID. So okay. we started trying to figure out where possibly and right when I was coming out of it, we got an a email from a journalist from the New York Post that basically said, you know, I'm doing a story that um, there's a lot of people in Ketchum, Idaho, that came down with COVID. There's a bunch of people at the hotel that your husband stayed. There's a humongous group of people that was at the party. And a lot of the Black skiers then the association came down with it. And I was just wondering, you know, how is Jeff? Because he didn't even know I was sick. Right. And that was the correlation that we understood that, you know, pretty much it was a bunch of people that got sick. And then when you start reading that, you know, a bunch of them passed away, right. you know, you really started to, you know, that really kind of shook me a little bit. How do you feel about going into the public now? Or just oh, I'm terrified. I am absolutely terrified. Um, and I'm more terrified because of the unknown. I really want you to speak to the African-American community, particularly here in Chicago. And I know you're shaking your head. You're keeping up with the news like all yeah. of us. Here, the numbers are so disproportionate when it comes to the African-American community That's versus the Chicago community at large. And I don't think that we're getting it. But coming from DJ Jazzy Jeff, Maybe you can reach folks. Well, I mean, you know what I've, I've realized is, you know, this is, un unfortunately, in, in our communities, we're immune to the recession. Like, yeah. there's always a recession. So whether it's good or bad, we are used to dealing with things in a certain way. But this is something very, very different. This is something airborne. This is something that's extremely deadly that this isn't something that we can ignore. And taking it from someone who actually went through this, I would not want anybody on God's earth to go through what I went through. 
right. DJs have really been saving our lives. Ha <laughs> ha, you like that? <laughs> Talk about the, just the streaming online, the amount of DJs that you're seeing providing hope, um, energy to folks who may be down, you know what I mean? And we're seeing yeah. it, and, and it's all virtual, the DJ battles. What are yeah. your thoughts on that from somebody who's been DJing? By the way, did I read this correct since 10 years old? Yes. What? Yeah. When did you fall in love with it? Um, probably about five, six, just watching people play music and, you know, the, the infection that it creates on people. Um, and I think that's what's happening. Like, my job is to provide joy to people through music. Talk about a friendship that has lasted, and, and I mean, just for decades and decades. Talk about your bond that you have with Will Smith. We see it as fans, but it's got to be super special. Well, you know what it is? It's, it's take all of the success and everything aside of it. That's my friend. Yeah. You know, that's my friend. We, we started doing music when he was 16 and I was 18. And he talked about wanting to be the biggest movie star in the world. So when you can kind of share these kind of visions and dreams with your friends. And, you know, we just kept going through doors and things just kept happening to watch it. But, you know, at, at the core of it, you know, him and I talk about family and, you know, and relationships and just, can you believe what we've done and, and accomplished and how can we affect people and touch people and motivate people? There was nothing special about Will and I, except mm. the fact that we dared to dream outside of our environment. Like, so trying to express that to people, like don't think someone put a magic wand on us or it was this amazing something. There are millions of people that have the talent and the drive to do that. They just have to believe enough to take the shot. DJ Jazzy Jeff, thank you so much for talking to us. This has been really a delight. Chicago loves you. Yes. Hopefully we all will get through this together. Keep playing that music. We're going to look for this collaboration with you and Will Smith coming out. When? Soon. How <laughs> soon? <laughs> soon. Soon. You know I got to do my job, man. That's thank right. <laughs> you so much. We'll be right back. Thank you. Coming up next, it's the refrigerator that costs a cool $5,000. Don't miss it.